I've been having a lot of fun experimenting with spaghetti squash lately. I've always been frustrated with the pool of moisture that you get when you have a tomato-based spaghetti squash. Um, and so I decided one day to try it with Alfredo. And out of that experimentation and doing some different versions of Alfredo spaghetti squash, I decided to try a lobster spaghetti squash Alfredo. Now this is a great keto date night uh, if you're looking for some ideas. In order to start, uh, you need to go out and find yourself a nice spaghetti squash, source a couple of lobster tails. Costco is a great place for this, uh, usually a good price, and they have a, a very fresh uh, rotation of seafood. Where you're gonna take the most amount of time when you're cooking uh, anything with Alfredo is making the sauce. But I found that if you go to your supermarket in the refrigerated section, there are some great pre-made Alfredos. This will save a tremendous amount of time and also uh, prevent any kind of mishaps. First thing you wanna do is you wanna cook your spaghetti squash. If you don't know how to cook a spaghetti squash, there's a link in the description box below. Uh, reference that, but that's where you wanna start. While the spaghetti squash is cooking, you begin to do the rest. All right, so the first thing we have to do is we have to get the lobster meat out of the shells. Usually a penetration point right about here I find works well. You just thrust it down. Sometimes a harder shell takes a little more muscle. And then just push down like this, go back the other way. And then it splits right, uh, right open. Now after you've done that, one of the most important things to do and not to forget, is to make sure you've got no little bits of shell with the lobster meat. Now what we're going to do is cut it into bite-sized pieces. Add a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of salt, and a little bit of pepper. While you're waiting for your spaghetti squash to cook, you may as well go ahead and grate your cheese. Now, this is a great little contraption that I got on Amazon. I don't remember, I think it was like $20. But if you don't have one of those and you wanna go old school, any grater will do, just watch out for your knuckles. We're gonna use again uh, a mixture of Parmesan and Romano. And there are different attachments if you like a finer grate. your spaghetti squash is ready then it's time to make the alfredo we're gonna start with the lobster we're gonna cook this on high heat and mix in a little of oil You don't need to overcook the lobster. When it's substantially cooked and you see mostly white, you just mix in a few tablespoons of the Alfredo sauce. We're gonna transfer this out. Now the heat's back on. We're gonna warm up the spaghetti squash and dry it out a little bit. We're starting to see a little steam come up. That tells me it's getting warm. Mix the lobster alfredo back in. And this is where you use your judgment, depending upon how much alfredo you want. And you just sort of fold it in. Okay, now we plate it. This is really one of my favorite dishes with spaghetti squash, if not my most favorite. And it is absolutely perfect for anyone that's trying to be keto friendly, especially on date nights or any kind of special occasion. Top of a little bit of cheese that we grated earlier. Spaghetti squash, lobster alfredo. Please hit like, subscribe, or ring the bell so you can stay apprised of future recipes.